Okay, Jamie, would you try and explain to the audience what we're doing uh, for this video and why we are doing why we are addressing the seatbelt issue? Because, like in my case, I'm a 21 year veteran driver and I've never had to deal with seatbelts before. So, would you? Sure. Help? Sure. Okay. So, from now on, in the state of Iowa, all new school buses are going to be equipped with safety belts and they must be used. They'll be used by all passengers, students, coaches, teachers, adults. Once the bus is, they have to be buckled in before the bus starts moving. And that, that's state law now. All right, drivers, pay attention. Uh, now that seat belts are gonna be mandatory use, uh, the buses that are equipped with the seat belt restraint systems will have a placard on them like this. Equipped with seat belts, mandatory use is required. Um, right now, all the spec ed buses have seat belts on them, and I know their drivers and aides understand how they're supposed to be used. But for those of us that have been driving the full size buses, we don't. And all seven brand new buses that we're going to purchase here will come with seat belt, seat belt harnesses and restraint systems. So if you get on a bus, and if you see this placard mounted somewhere, sorry, if you see this placard mounted somewhere, that means you're going to have to instruct your students how to use their seat belts when they need to be in them as you drive at all times. And you will know, have to know how to instruct them uh, into and out of the use of these seat belts. So that's what this video is going to be about. We will train you. Okay, I am going to check the safety of my belts to make sure they work properly. So I'm going to do visual for any frayed or damage to the belts. And then I'm also going to pull the belt out, make sure it retracts, and then do a jerk. And what's the jerk doing, Christy, was that? Checking to make sure it locks during any kind of sudden stop. So, and this needs to be done with every pre-trip. I'll do this one. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you want to also make sure that every seat has the correct amount of seat belts. So these are two person seats and they have two seat belts. Here is a three person seat, three belts. It's a little slow. Okay, and then on the special ed buses, you are gonna come to a seat like this, and it's gonna have a harness or, that you're gonna, the smaller kids need to be in, and you just need to make sure that they buckle in. So this would go over their shoulders, buckle at their chest, adjust it for size, and then this would go around the top of their thigh, between their legs, and it just goes in like this. If you've ever done a car seat, whoops, wrong way. And that's how a smaller child would buckle. And there's only room for one child in a seat like this. We call them the preschool seats. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have to buckle the seat belt to check it. Just have to check the safety belt retraction and the stopping. Okay, let's go over the procedure for cutting somebody out of their seat belt if it has a restraint system that's messed up and can't unlatch. <clears throat> Number one, as long as we're in the COVID situation, you should be wearing, first of all, your face mask, so that should be on already. I'm going to put mine on.
and uh, we're going to have a kit box behind the driver's seat where nobody sits on it and you're going to have other supplies in it you're going to have a, uh, a face shield and you're going to have gloves you are not to go back and touch anybody in our COVID situation without first putting on gloves so what we want you to do is pull the bus over to the side of the road we want you to put the hazards on so it's blinking and just like our other training has shown do not get out of your driver's seat unless you have pulled turned the bus off the ignition off and you have uh, put the bus in park pull the keys turn the motor off and these are going to be tough to put on because it's a wet day Ugh. Okay, now that I have my mask on and my gloves on, we will have a, a provided face shield and we don't have those in yet, they're on order. So you put that over your head just like a uh, welder would have, you flip that plexiglass shield down over your face and we have a kid that can't get out of their seat because the mechanism's either been broken or messed up or something's going on. So first things first. Go ahead and try them. We'll, we'll just pretend the kid is in this seat. Uh, with gloves on and safety protective equipment on, you are able to go ahead and touch them and do what you need to do. But let's just say, for example, that for some reason, this uh, mechanism doesn't want to release. So if I push on it and if I tug on it and things don't want to pop out and that kid's really in a restrained situation where they need to get off the bus and go home, if I've tried every other thing that I can think about, there's only going to be one resolve that I can do at that point in time, and that's cut them out of their seatbelt. So let's just show you real quickly. Jamie, why don't you go on this side of me if you would? And I want you to see how easy it is to go ahead and cut a seatbelt off of somebody. If you have a seatbelt that they need to be gotten out of, Put a little tension on it. This is just like an envelope slicer. All you're going to have to do is take the open end, put it in here, and then we're just going to give one smooth motion across the seat belt and it should cut it right out. So here we go. Let's see if we can do that. Put the open end in there. Pull on it and it, it sliced it right off. We can do that one more.